What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Vaga Brothers. Today's a special day and in the spirit of exploring your own backyard, we're in Los Angeles, California in Thai Town. Thai Town is the biggest population of Thais outside of Thailand and today is a special day because it's Thai New Year known as Songkran 2014. So we're going to go check out Buddhist New Year in Little Thailand, Los Angeles, California. Let's go. Los Angeles is a melting pot of cultures. Within a few blocks, you've got Koreatown, Little Armenia, Little Ethiopia, Tehranjalis in Westwood, and in East Hollywood, Thai Town. If you really wanted to, you could travel the whole world in just one afternoon. But cultures are best explored through festivals. So when we found out about Songkran, we headed to Hollywood first thing in the morning. Well, it's super early. It's just after 8. I think we beat like all the Thais down here to Hollywood where uh, Thai Town is. Today's plan is relatively straightforward. There's food, there's music, there's beer, there's monks, there's Miss Thailand. We're gonna try to check it out, but we're gonna start with breakfast. First we need tea, <laughs> sticky rice, and mangoes. With Thai tea in hand, we watch vendors prepare for the day, and the first Buddhist monks arrived dressed in robes, with one even rocking a Lakers beanie. As they got ready for the opening ceremonies, we asked two monks, one our age, one more senior, about the spiritual roots of Songkran. Songkran is, uh, is a Thai New Year. Uh, in Thailand, it's very hot this time of the year, and we have the water blessing. It's a good thing for somebody to give you a cold water. You know, like little kids do it nowadays with water balloons, water guns shooting around, running around. That's what they do at a, like almost every temple during every New Year. Unfortunately, the typical water fight was banned in LA, but people still found ways to celebrate. Uh, we pay the respect to the Lord of Buddha, pay respect to the monk, and pay the respect for the elderly. I tell you, the old people know a lot of things, and the happiness and suffering is, uh, is a state of mind. The official blessings are over and now the monks are on their way to collect all the offerings which can either be food or money but uh, that's happening right now and it's pretty hectic really. We are on our way to meet up with celebrity chef Tilla. His family is one of the founding families of Thai Town, so we're going to hopefully talk to him a bit about the history of Thai Town and how food is one of the best ways to experience this place. Let's go! So in the last uh, couple of decades, how have you seen Thai Town evolve? Well, you know, everything's changed, right, in the last few decades. So Thai Town was officially recognized in 1999, right? This whole area, you know, was, was kind of one of these reconstruction zones. So around 1999 till about now, uh, you know, Thai Town just kind of exploded with some of the best restaurants in America. The best Thai food in America is easily on this six blocks. It seems like food is such a huge part of any culture, but with Thai culture, not only is it like an anchor for you guys as like immigrants, the sense of immigrants, but also a gateway for other people who don't know about Thai culture to experience it. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think food for Thai people it's food first, right? I mean it's the most, you know, non-confrontational way to introduce yourself. And I think most people know Thai food before they understand Thai culture. And then once they understand Thai culture, they start to fall in love with it. It's really food that, that kind of binds or, or kind of cements that this is Thai town. I know everybody knows about pad thai <laughs> and chicken saute. Jet, you're a chef. That's Come on right. man, lay it on us. What dish should we be eating that we are not? Yo, move away from pad thai and saute and start getting into curry. So two dishes I what you eat this year, and, and promise me you will, is khao soy, which is a northern style curry dish with noodles, and uh, and, and go a little crazy this year and try something like papaya salad. All right, Ooh, spicy, 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 right? Evolve, yo! It's time to evolve out of those. Those are great, and they're hallmarks of our culture, but it's it's time to expand your mind a little bit. So much for talking about no really problem. Appreciate no that. worries. Yeah, thanks, guys. After meeting with Jet, we decided to jump right in and take part in the festivities. Well, in the name of respecting culture, I guess Mark is going to pour some water on the Buddha and mark the second new year in Mark's new year. How do you feel, Mark? Do you feel better having, having blessed the Buddha with the water or what? I made a wish for the new year. feel good. Uh, now we're going to go meet up with my buddy Gwyn, who's a Thai American here from LA, and go get a Singha beer in the beer garden. Let's go. Vamos. Why is it that whenever we go to a festival of any kind, inevitably we end up drinking beer? Okay, okay. I like it. I like it. I think it's part of the process. Is it? Part of the process. Okay. 
Nearby, some gorgeous girls were modeling high fashion Thai style, bringing traditional designs of hill tribes to the Hollywood Hills. But by far, the biggest crowd was gathering around the Muay Thai arena. So we asked one local coach what it was all about. Uh, my name is uh, Kru Rock McKeever. I own Team Victory Muay Thai in the uh, city of England. So the number one national sport of Thailand is uh, Muay Thai, Thai boxing. I mean, Muay Thai has been around a long time. It's definitely exploded within the past 15 years. And now everywhere you go, everybody has a Muay Thai gym. Everybody's training Muay Thai. And so of course, when you have an event like this, when you're able to host something like this and then put a fight, what a better way to bring everybody from all over Southern California to come together and to really explore and to see what the art of Muay Thai is all about. Most of the competitors weren't ethnically Thai, showing us just how international the sport has become. So we asked a victorious French fighter how Muay Thai has gone global. Do you think that Muay Thai has the ability to bring people into Thai culture? Yeah, definitely. That's how I got introduced to the Thai culture, through Muay Thai. If they see like they they see like an event like this, they can like get introduced to the culture and I guess maybe get interested to know more about it or go to Thailand or you know. I'm glad I'm, I can be, even if it's a little bit a part of, of it and showing to people that uh, it's a beautiful art and that comes from a beautiful culture. Merci. De rien. So that's it for Thai New Year 2014. It was a really fun day. Saw a little bit of everything from Muay Thai to Thai food. Even snuck a Thai massage in there at the end. And it just goes to show that cities like LA, there's a lot of cultures that make them up. And we really are just skimming the surface here. But you do not have to be in Los Angeles or the United States. I no. guarantee you that whatever city you're living in, there are tons of cultures for you to explore. You just have to have the interest to go out there and do it. So. Tune in next week, leave a comment in the box below, find us on social media, and we will most definitely see you guys on the road. All right, peace and kop 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 thank you. Bye. Hello everybody, it's Marco and Alex, the Vaga Brothers, and you're watching BBB TV. This is episode 17, Bangkok, Thailand. Orleans, Louisiana. We're here during the biggest celebration of the year, Carnival, known locally as Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras. Founded by the French, traded to the Spanish, and bought by the Americans, New Orleans, Louisiana sits at the mouth of the Mississippi.